the expectations that this would be a pontificate in which the Vatican bureaucracy, the Roman Curia, was, was deeply and thoroughly reformed have not been met. Things are in fact worse now, uh, in my view, than they have been in perhaps 40 years. Uh, and uh, everyone uh, who does not have a vested interest in the status quo uh, understands that a major task in the early going of the next pontificate is going to be not only to change structure but to change attitude. Uh, the Roman Curia exists to give effect to the will of the Bishop of Rome. That's the only reason it exists. If being the universal pastor of the church means to be an evangelizing missionary, then the Roman Curia has to think of itself as part of that papal evangelical mission, and it has to contribute to that rather than being an impediment to it, which frankly in some instances, indeed perhaps many instances, it is uh, today. Uh, this Curia needs to be thoroughly internationalized. It needs to be detached from what has become, according to one of my Italian friends, uh, a deeply rooted culture of corruption in Italy as a whole, which has a way of seeping over the boundary uh, between Italy and Vatican City. And if the next pope does not wish to take this on himself, which in many respects he probably shouldn't do, uh, it's not the job of the pope to move uh, slots around an organization chart. But he needs to hire somebody. He needs to have a secretary of state, a chief of staff, or sostituto, as he's called here, who can take this on and will have his authority and his backing to do this properly. <laughs>